Hey Disney friends, it's Amber with Mickey Travels and we are back from Disney and I thought I would do a haul video for you. I've got a little bag here full of stuff to share with you and um, these boxes. To say we went overboard is an understatement, but when you work hard all year and save up for Disney and you only get to go once a year, you spend what you save. Um, we found lots of really cool things because there were some things we hadn't seen before. Um, Avatar and some new Haunted Mansion merchandise, so just, yeah. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a really long video. Um, I like haul videos on YouTube because it gives me ideas for things that I might want to purchase when I go, so, um, and other people just like to see what's available at the parks. I will try to share with you prices too to kind of give you an idea and hope this is helpful for you. So stay tuned, we got a lot to go through. Okay, now this was my carry-on on the way home, so I don't know what's in here, and these three boxes are based on when we mailed them, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, last time we went to Disney, we had to purchase a new suitcase to take the new stuff home. Um, the big suitcase that I had in my packing video, that was $200, so... We paid $200 for the suitcase and checked it, and uh, we fly Southwest, so our bags fly free. But this year, what we decided to do was we bought um, a lot of things in maybe two or three stores, and then had Disney mail it to our home. Two of the three boxes were here before we got home, and then one box came today, which was the day after we came home, so it was really quick. And overall, in shipping, we spent less than $100, so it was worth it to actually have it sent um, through the mail, then actually buy another new suitcase. All right. Let's get to it. And you could probably, if you know me at all um, on this channel, you'll know what stuff's mine, what's just not mine, but I'll let you know anyway. All right, so first off, we have these stretching portrait socks. These are from um, Memento Mori in Magic Kingdom. It's the Haunted Mansion gift shop. They were $13.99 and they have uh, two pairs, so they're double-sided. So one pair has the ladies and then one pair has the gentlemen. Um, at the Tower of Terror shop, they have a new photo opportunity that um, you can uh, buy your ride portrait, that's fine. But now they have this, oh, how do you say it? Lin lenticular, linicure? I'm not sure how to say it, but um, it's of one of those things that moves and we're in front of the Haunted, the Haunted Mansion. We're in front of the Tower of Terror and then you move it and we're gone and we there's lightning bolts and uh, the way. This is only $20 and they give you suitcases to pose with and you can act scary or smile. We decided to act scary like we had just been electrocuted and went to the Twilight Zone. So this is cool. And this is the cover of that. I have a mug on my desk at school that I used to keep my pins in and I had a student unfortunately a couple years ago break that mug and break the handle. It was a Mike Wazowski mug. So I did find a, sorry it's loud. I did find a new one to replace it. It's got the Mickey cartoons on some of the attractions. So there's Goofy and Mickey on Big Thunder and Donald and Mickey on Space and then Mickey and Goofy again on the Jungle Cruise. And it's green. Pretty cool. This was $15.99. I got this at my resort gift shop. And if you've never seen what Disney uses to wrap their, uh, their breakables in, this works really well with flights. It's not bubble wrap, but it's this really cool packing paper. My husband bought a lot of t-shirts on this trip, so some of them may not be in this video uh, because he's worn them already and they're already put away. But um, I do know that also at the resort shop, he bought a pair of shorts that say Walt Disney World and then a beach club t-shirt. Okay, we have this Pixar pin that has the ball on top and some of the characters from Pixar movies. Pretty cool. This was probably around $8. And that's actually not mine, which is shocking because I usually buy pins. We have another pin here. This is Kylo Ren's lightsaber. We bought this at um, the launch bay at Hollywood Studios in the gift shop at the end after you go through the meet and greets and it lights up. Wee. All right, this was a teal price, which I'm guessing was also probably in the eight to $10 range. And I'm really shocked that that survived and did not break. 
we have a collection of toys themed to attractions downstairs and then like the big box sets they have of uh, characters we collect those too so you'll see a few of those um, but this one is expedition everest toy it's a pullback toy with uh, mickey in the car of the ride and the yeti in the back seat um i don't think this was more than seven dollars but that was at the expedition everest gift shop I bought two of the Haunted Mansion Mystery Pin Set that is now available. Every time I go, it's a different set, so I never have a complete one. Um, so I have four of these pins, and I'll let you see how big they are. Um, apparently, when you put them under the UV light, there's a message on them, so I'll have to try this sometime, but... Pretty cool, vintage looking portraits. This guy with a dagger. And then I got couple of the ladies, scary looking ladies. Pretty cool. I think these were probably $12 a box. And so I had two of those. I got that at the Haunted Mansion gift shop at Magic Kingdom. Okay, this is the only other Haunted Mansion pin I got the whole trip. This is the new rack pin they have of Madame Leota. So perfect, she's my favorite. And that was a yellow, so probably $8 maybe. And then my husband got a Tower of Terror pin that was in the pink category that has Stitch, the he's biting the elevator wire, and then Mickey and Minnie at the bottom and it folds back up, it's magnetic. At the Haunted Mansion gift shop again, I got this tank top that um, from far away is a really cool vintage print and has lace on the back. But then if you look up close, it's the busts, um, the caretaker guy, Madame Leota, the hitchhiking ghost, um, the hearse, and then Madame Leota's tomb. There's just a bunch of different characters here. Uh, these are, they run small, so if you're looking for this, get a size bigger. Super cute. This was probably $24.95. I already wore it. Sorry, the tag's not on it. Stocked up on some snacks while we were there. Um, this is the trail mix that is found in Pandora, and it's uh, fruit and nuts, dried fruit and nuts. And these are the typical things you can find in almost any gift shop. So we have goofy gummy worms, regular ones, and then goofy sour gummy worms. Uh, Chippendale pretzels, sorry, got hungry. And then also at our resort, we didn't, we weren't hungry enough to order it, but we they do offer the mini kitchen sink that you can get to go so this is the kitchen sink it goes with and there's the handles and faucet so it's just like a bowl you can eat your ice cream out of it or anything else um, with the ice cream it ran $24 I believe um, but you can buy it just this and it's in like the takeout window at Beaches and Cream all right I think that's it for the bags um, we did get some new pennies um, at the haunted, gosh dang it, at the Tower of Terror they had, you can buy eight of them, and so there's different ones there. Um, then we got like some 2008 uh, specific ones. I got the rest of the Monster Inc. guys. Um, Gus and Jack from Cinderella. So we almost filled up a page there. And again, um, this I had bought a few years ago. So these are pennies from like the last time we went and this was this time. That's a really inexpensive, inexpensive souvenir to start. Um, they also do smashed quarters there for $1.25. All right, let's crack open these boxes and go through this fast. It's kind of like Christmas because I don't remember what we got. All right, so what they do is they, um, you just fill out a form while you check out. Just let them know you want to ship it to your home and they'll just tell you how much it was. Um, this one, just based on the address, I know is from the Animal Kingdom gift shop. My husband filled out the other one, and that one's just specifically from the Pandora gift shop. So that's all uh, Avatar stuff. So this one's going to be a mix of items, and I believe shipping for this one uh, was $17. So they do it by weight. And then they left a little note in there to say that they appreciate um, us shopping with them. <laughs> Duh. And it's packed very nicely. Okay, so these are pretty popular. Um, this is the latest Spirit jersey. It is a turquoise color with the um, 1971 established with the D, and then in the back, the mermaid colors in a purple glitter font. And then the sleeves have stripes, so that kind of looks like Sully, but 
Um, I only found this in two shops in the whole park. This was at the Animal Kingdom shop and then I found one in Epcot, but I know they were at Magic Kingdom too. Um, the spirit jerseys used to be really hard to find, but this one not so much. They are expensive. I believe these are about 70, oh, $60 for the spirit jerseys. All right, next up I got these Mike and Sully socks. Um, they are youth size, so I'm gonna have to try them on to make sure they fit. So they were $14, so if they don't fit, this could end up being a giveaway item. Super cute. Um, some stitch boxers. See them? And these were, oh yeah, these didn't have a price on them. Um, probably run of the mill $24.95 for most of their clothing items. Um, we got a DuckTales playset for our collection, and it's the newer DuckTales figures. Uh, this was the only place we saw it at Animal Kingdom, because you can see a Scrooge and Launchpad at Animal Kingdom and meet them. Another pair of socks, because they had a two for one like deal on some of the prices. So these are $13.99, and our Mickey and Minnie. I wonder what size these are, they look small. My husband is supposedly gonna wear these, so we shall see. Um, yes, these are mine for $14, so $13.99 again. Figment socks with his horns are three-dimensional and then he has wings on the back. T-shirt, white t-shirt, the original. Um, Walt Disney established 19, Walt Disney World established 1971 and they had a special again, so this is $24.99, so I think they were $20 a piece if you buy more than one. That's for my husband. Here's a slip in case we weren't satisfied or didn't get something. Okay, so here's the one pin I got, which is pretty shocking because I always buy a ton from my classroom. This is a Animal Kingdom special a Safari Hat Mickey pin with animals on the pin. Probably around eight dollars on that. All right, another T-shirt. This is Expedition Everest Rescue, Mountain Rescue, and then on the back, pretty cool. And then lastly, it looks like oh, I got bent a little bit. That's okay. Um, a Monsters Inc. playset. Not sure on the price on this. It's not on there. So where this ends up, hopefully in my room. I don't know if it'll end up in our collection that's like conjoined, but my classroom is themed Monsters, Inc. So that would fit just perfect. All right, that's box one. All right, and this one I know is from there. Um, so we shipped this directly from the store. Again, they uh, tell us how much it was. This box was not more than $10 to ship. Oh, I forgot about this stuff. Okay, so we got a baby avatar wrapped up in a blanket. Navi baby, oh, $26.99. So cute. Um, we got a set of Creatures of Pandora um, just to go with kind of the play sets and it was a reasonable price. It was $12.99 for all these figures. Um, and a lot of these you can see on the ride. Okay, we got the horse from Avatar, and this Ace stuff is seen all over that area. Alpha Centauri Expeditions, because that's what the, the ride's based on. You're going through their lab. Um, we got the Banshee. Mountain Banshee with roaring action. Oh, his mouth, I have Sonic Pool. So great, I love the color. And you can get the Banshees that interact with you. They were about $74. And then the, when you turn yourself into an avatar was also about that price. Okay, and this box got bent a little bit, which you kind of have to assume is gonna happen with shipping. But here are the main figures from the film. So we have, um, a couple of the characters, and then some more of the animals from Avatar. This was $17.99, so not bad. All right, 
So the last box, what happened was um, we kept buying a bunch of stuff and realized that we were not going to be able to ship all this home and we didn't want to buy another suitcase. So our resort told us we could take it to this place and they will mail it for us. And it was on our property. It was on Yacht Club. Um, it did cost a little more because it was with FedEx and I believe the other two were US Postal Service. So this one did cost a little more. The box is heavier though. So this is pretty much everything else we bought that we didn't want to end up packing. Um, yeah, so with the exception of like some t-shirts and some like food items, like last year we went to Japan and Epcot and bought a bunch of different food group foods from there to try. And this year we did that with uh, Great Britain. So we bought some teas and some candies from Britain to try. I have some here, but I didn't feel like showing them because you can buy some of this stuff in stores in the United States. But we bought a couple of boxes of teas and then some like candies from Britain. But this should be the rest of it besides the t-shirts like I told you. Uh, let's see. What other t-shirts did he have? Uh, he bought a Haunted Mansion t-shirt, I know for sure. I don't know if he bought an Avatar one or not. Okay, so this packing is a little nicer done and they have the bubble wrap. And essentially they just, so my husband was there when they packed it, so he knew exactly how it was gonna go. So they put um, the, our shopping bag directly in here with bubble wrap on top, so pretty cool. Okay, so I collect children's books that are Disney themed and they're actually right over here. Let's see if I can get them, I'll show you guys. Um, that whole top row right there whoop, are little golden books, um, like the 70s books, stories, and then over here are some of the newer books, but um, I find them everywhere, mostly like thrift shopping and whatnot. But this is a Haunted Mansion children's book and it is the lyrics to these songs. And it comes with a CD and the graphics are great. So I was really excited about that. When the Crypt Forest Creek and the Tombstones Quake, spooks come out for a swinging wake. Come on, that's great. Uh, we also saw one of these for Pirates of the Caribbean, so we'll probably get that next time. Popcorn bucket time. All right, so this is the toys. <laughs> it smells like popcorn. <laughs> this is the Toy Story Land popcorn bucket that you can get at Hollywood Studios. Um, and it's Woody's Roundup themed. So Bullseye, Jesse, uh, Woody, and and the Prospector, Proctor, and the Prospector, and then a cow and a sheep. And it's pretty cute. Um, and this is one you could refill with popcorn in any park. So that was worth that. Coming in, I only had like four things that I wanted to buy. And this was one of them. I was wanting a clutch bag uh, to wear around just because I have a Dooney and Burke. It's just too huge. So. This is a, it's a specific company, I can't remember. Um, $65 and it's a Mike Wazowski clutch and then it came with a Sully wallet that can go inside and the door, it looks like a door on the other side. We found this only at one place and this was at Mouse Gear in Epcot. Okay, a Toy Story play set to go along with our Toy Story land trip. These are all about the same price and they had different characters all over the parks, but um, this one we found in Epcot, it was also in Hollywood Studios. Some of them we only found one time. I think in some of my older videos I mentioned to like wait and do all your shopping at one time. That has definitely changed because some of this stuff you can only find one time. So now I suggest to you is if you see it, you buy it. For example, this, like I only found this in one spot. I was actually looking for the Mrs. Potts version that was supposedly at Magic Kingdom. They have a shop on Main Street, but we had already done a ton of shopping by the time we were at Magic Kingdom, and I saw this and was like, duh. So I just went ahead and got that one. Please do not judge. I just have this thing for popcorn buckets. All right, so last time I was at Disney, I had seen that Disneyland was getting this one, and it's just, um, Disney World was getting it later. So this is an at, -AT from Star Wars, and the popcorn goes right here, like the actual popcorn box would go right here. Okay, so this thing was huge. Um, my plan is to set it on my desk and actually put like my pencils and stuff in here. Um, Cause I don't know if I have room for it here, but I was carrying it around like this all, like all over the parks. Like it was my purse. Um, this was $27 with popcorn. A couple of souvenir drink containers. This one is from Yak and Yeti. It came with like a slushie. 
and then this one is from Liberty Tree Tavern and this was also like an icy apple icy so they're not included on the dining plan you do have to pay extra for those oh my gosh guys this is it whoa it's only a 20 minute video all right and so the last thing we bought in com to commemorate our Toy Story Land uh, trip was this light up slinky dog and I guess I'll pull these things out so you can kind of see what he does now but he does stretch out and he lights up So we'll stretch him out and put him out. I mean, he'll probably be downstairs, but who knows, he may end up on our mantle. We change up our designs up here all the time, but this was this was 27, and I believe the talking one, which was a little bigger, was actually cheaper. Uh, but we just thought the light up one was cooler because it kind of reminded us, ooh, flashy. Uh, kind of reminded us of the ride. Well, the talking one was just a generic Toy Story toy and didn't say Disney World on it. All right, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions about any of these specific items that we bought um, or have any questions about shopping at Disney. Um, it is a problem because there's just so much to do and they, they do a really good job of putting like gift shops at the end of rides and to keep cool, you need to go into a gift shop. It's just, it's a habit to always go there. Even like me going out almost every year, I still end up buying tons of stuff. Just gotta keep it updated. Have a magical day. I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye.